today we are going to create an artwork inspired by Reggie Laurent. Okay, so Reggie was born in Chicago but now lives in Atlanta, Georgia. He is self-taught, which means he didn't go to college to learn how to be an artist. He taught himself. He is a contemporary artist, which means he's alive and working today. Uh, his work is abstract, which means it doesn't look like a house or a tree or a person. He focuses on colors and shapes and lines. Look at the artwork in front of you now. What shapes or types of lines do you see? And uh, Reggie Laurent always starts with a black canvas, which is kind of unusual. Most people start with a white canvas. And I just wanted to share this quote about his work. I paint by intuition and by listening to the painting. I also think that my childhood in Chicago and New Orleans had a major influence on my work. The Chicago skyline and Mardi Gras back in the day in New Orleans are something I will never forget. People think that my work looks like an overhead shot of a busy city. I am sure the colors are derived from the floats, beads, and the kaleidoscope of colors Mardi Gras offers. So that's what he had to say about his work. Okay, so day two of our Reggie Laurent uh, art project. So for a minute, I just want you to look at his artwork, see what types of lines are inside those shapes. Um, do you see dots? Do you see zigzags? Do you see wavy lines? Are the shapes outlined? Um, so look and see what types of lines. I see some swirls. I see some diagonal lines. Okay, so we are going to recreate that on our started piece. And we're gonna use our oil pastels to do it. So I am gonna start out and I am going to, I'm gonna outline my shape or at least start to, and then I'm gonna add a swirl over top of that one. Let's see this one, I think I'm gonna divide. You know, I'm also gonna outline this. I would say most of the time he outlines those shapes. Okay, and then I'm gonna divide it into sections here. I'm gonna add some dots. a zigzag line so this is gonna be up to you I'm just showing you what you can do and again of course I'm going to outline that shape going around the outside
but sometimes he also drew uh, shapes inside of other shapes. That is something you can also do. inside here so as long as you're outlining and drawing some lines inside okay you don't have to copy what I'm doing in fact you probably can't because it is something different than what you have come up with dotted lines in his work too so maybe I'll go around and do a dotted line on the inside of this. Mm 